But just these three things will carry you if you let them. First and foremost, knowing who you are. Knowing who you are. Being able to answer this question, who am I? And what do I want? You know, many times when I go out of the country, I am baffled by that question. To explain what is your occupation. I've, st I've stood there for 10 minutes. Well, am I a talk show host? Well, I'm more than a talk show host. Am I a businesswoman? I'm a businesswoman. I'm more than a businesswoman. Am I an entrepreneur? I'm more than an entrepreneur. So I just leave it blank or self-employed. Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis and please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe before we get started. Honey, nursing school at Galen, I don't know if it's different everywhere else or if it's just my school or what may have you, but it's a little, it's a little racism there and I don't like it. But nonetheless, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to fight my way through Galen, okay? I'm going to definitely fight my way through Galen because I have never experienced racism in my life until I got here. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, seriously. So nursing school cannot prepare you for everything, okay? And nursing school is honestly only preparing you for the NCLEX, and that is totally it. Um, it's really hard to describe it, being a black student at Galen, because out of 40 people in one classroom, it's maybe only like max five black people. Five, just five of us maybe maybe and I'm talking about maybe okay so I'm taking I'm taking four classes right now med search I'm probably it's probably five black people in that class pharmacology is only five um my lab it's only two clinical it's only two so I don't know if it's just the school in general or if there's just not enough black girls getting to the nursing field I don't know what it is but it's not a lot of us at this school and I know it's not Galen's fault directly because it's just us if you want to do nursing or not or if you're not even considering that school but it is not a lot of black girls and I'm just like really shocked so it's really difficult going to this type of school with this type of um, dynamic you can't really find a lot of people that's like you and that you can like fight through it with because you really have to fight through nursing school and I'm talking about blow blow for blow okay blow for blow so today in, in class I'm gonna I'm give y'all my little sign of racism <laughs> uh, we were going over some diabetic questions in my med surge class because we have a, a test coming up exam 3 coming up next week and the girl was reading the 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 question and i cannot say specifically what the question was because i totally forgot but i remember her saying oh yeah blacks <laughs> i mean do you mean african-american ma'am <laughs> like what <laughs> like blacks blacks oh, okay but it's just something that you you can't address because you're a student. That person is a student. You don't want it to seem confrontational that you're coming at another student. So you just got to let shit roll off your back and be like, oh, okay, bet, blacks. And it's just like, that's one incident. Then 
these girls are so clicky oh my god it's the clicks at this school okay oh galen is, is like a high school galen is just strictly like a high school and that's that's the only way i can definitely um describe it it's just real high schoolish like everything about it is high school all the girls are clicking up it's bullying it's he said she said it's oh i don't like this person so i'm gonna do x y and z like all types of bullshit like we not spending a hundred thousand dollars just to get a fucking degree here like it's so clicky and i don't know if it's just a galen dynamic or if this is just like this throughout nursing schools in general also at clinicals it's the same thing so i'm at this clinical. i'm gonna give you this other incident i'm at this clinical and um it's probably like the second day and I'm on a med search floor. So it's early in the morning. I get it. A lot of people are not morning people. But there's a way to do certain things. And um, my uh, instructor was like, hey, so-and-so, would you like, do, uh, do you mind taking a student today? And she was like, I guess. So immediately when she said that, I was like, fuck, I don't even want to be with this bitch because she already got an attitude. Like, she don't want me and I definitely don't want to be with her so i'm like he he was like okay so Alexis, go away blah 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 okay so me being me i'm like i already know this bitch don't want me but i'ma still go ahead go ahead, introduce myself and you know just be nice maybe she had a moment you know so i'm like hey i'm selexis um i'm just like hey <laughs> like i'm just trying to break the ice like hey girl and this bitch hit me with the yeah okay and turned around and kept talking <laughs> i immediately was like yeah bitch nope we ain't doing this nope i'm gonna go on to the next person so i was like yeah who the fuck else want me because i don't want her and she definitely don't want me so let's just find me somebody else so i took it upon myself and found a male nurse who wanted me because clearly this bitch didn't want nobody so i was like all right that's cool bet so i was with him he was really cool really cool really cool dude um and i i think it's anyway he was really cool dude like taught me a lot of shit like in a 12 hour period like he was really good i felt like he was really good we didn't sit down much and he kept me going all day long but it definitely made my time go by fast and i got my steps in okay but that wasn't even the only incident at this specific site and galen work with hca well they are bought out by hca whatever and it's just mind-blowing how these nurses act so i'm just like <sighs> what the fuck like are y'all not happy <laughs> at home like what's wrong with y'all so fast forward to last week um i was in the or so i had an or nurse so first i was in same day then the nurse who i was with in same day she was like "Ooh, i think you should go see this surgery be done go ahead and she was like once the nurse comes to our patient just go ahead and ask her if you can if you could join in on the surgery you can watch and i was like okay cool so the nurse came she um visited the patient before the surgery was about to start and just going over like little things with him so when she was done i had went over to her and i was like hi um i'm a student nurse and this is our patient i wanted to know if i could watch in on the surgery and she was like yeah cool come on you can come with me yeah perfect so she was like just make sure you get dressed and um everything before you come in the surgery and i was like okay perfect so i did all that so i'm already dressed got on these medical scrubs or surgical scrubs i got on a cap i got on the booties i don't wash my hands everything okay so i'm just like ready to go so i go in the or and um <laughs> the nurse <laughs> i kid you not she looked at me 
It was like, we don't have enough room for you. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Like, what? And I was like, oh, well, the doctor told me y'all do. And she was like, we don't have enough room for you. It's already a lot of stuff going on in here. And I was like, all right, man. I took my ass back to the waiting area and sat there and twiddled my motherfucking thumbs and did work. Because I, what I'm not gonna do is argue with a bitch. Because I'm trying to get to where you are, so I'm not gonna jeopardize my, I guess, school shit. Because if I say something to you and you report me, then I'm gonna get in trouble and it's not gonna be you. So, with certain people who are non black, <laughs> you just have to watch how you handle situations. I've learned because it'll backfire on us. Like, honestly, it will backfire on us. Because I don't see any other nurses or student nurses getting treat like, treated like this. I really don't see it. Even though they could proclaim that they do get the same energy back from certain nurses, I have never seen it. And I'm just like, Am I going into a field of racism? And I know I am because I see it everywhere. I see it everywhere. Like they feel like this type of work that they're doing is only for them. Like they're the only ones that could be making this type of money. Like they're the only ones who deserve this title. Like they're the only ones that's smart enough to get this. Like they're the only ones who could pass all the tests in class. Like they're the only ones who know all the answers in class. Like they are the ones who deserve this, not us. And I'm just like really baffled by this shit because I'm not gonna belittle myself to make y'all feel like y'all better than me because y'all not. Cause I know my shit and I probably know it better than you. So nursing school has really opened my eyes to racism and I promise you I have never experienced shit like this. Like I have never experienced racism and I'm just fucking taken back about like how people act. And it's just almost to the fact where you just be like, stupid asshole <laughs> like, like it's just be like the nerve of these bitches like seriously it's just unreal i can't even believe it i'm almost upset with myself because i really didn't take school seriously one when i was younger and i should have did this shit as soon as i got out of high school like went straight to an hbcu maybe i could have been with my people maybe it would have been a whole different experience maybe i don't know how it is at hbcu going for nursing maybe it's the same fucking shit maybe it's just black girls on black girls like not uplifting each other like we're all in the fucking same boat paddling to get to the same goddamn finish line like I just don't get it. I just don't get why it's the bullying. It's the he said, she said shit. It's the I'm better than this person. I just don't get all that during nursing school. It's, it's bad enough that we already have all this fucking busy work, stress, 15,000 fucking tests, things you got to remember. Like, it's just crazy how no one is trying to uplift each other in the same fucking boat it's like how can i kick this bitch up out the boat like nah get her for, make let her fail we ain't oh my god the share oh my god the hiding the notes and not sharing the knowledge is <laughs> yo it's real it is real okay i have never seen a group of grown-ass motherfuckers who be like nope mm -mm. i don't have nothing i don't have nothing even though i'm gonna be asking them bitches for shit but i just see it because i'm gonna do my own shit and i'm gonna get it how i get it and i'm gonna do it i'm, I'm just i'm gonna thug it out i'm gonna figure it out if i can't get it from somebody or if they don't want to share it 
I'm going to thug it out. I'm going to get it myself. If I got to take fucking notes myself, that's just what the fuck I got to do. But if it's something that I'm not getting or that I don't understand and I'm asking for like a little bit of help of understanding, you fucking be like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't like, I don't like study groups. And then your ass in a whole big ass study group. Just say you don't like black people. Like, that's all you really got to say. Like, I just don't get it. But it's never, it's just, it's just really mind blowing. Like, honestly, it really is because I just be like, what? These hoes is crazy. These hoes are really crazy. Like, they are really real deal crazy. But when you get into the nursing school, if you if you're thinking about going to Galen in Florida, I'm not gonna say the specific location of where I am, but if you're thinking about going to Galen, just be prepared. I'm not sure if it's Galen across a board, but if it's Galen here where I am, okay? It's motherfucking Galen where I am. If you are thinking about going to Galen, be mindful of who you talk to. Be mindful of what you say around people. Be mindful of what you share in your little group chats or whatever. Be mindful of what you do. Be mindful of how you carry yourself. Just everything. When you're black and you're about to enter a field of majority white, in other races just be mindful of how you carry yourself as a black woman young lady girl whatever male all that just be mindful because it's like real deal snakes out here ready to get us and to kick us off the pedestal and because they feel like we don't deserve it and I'll be damned if I let anybody stop me from getting what I want and what I deserve and what I'm putting my hard work into because they feel like I can't or they feel like I'm not worthy of it. Like, who are y'all to say who's worthy of being RN? And hearing all the horror stories on YouTube about how hard it is to get into the ICU or the OR or specialties, like, that's where I want to go. So I'm not going to let nobody stop me because they feel like I'm not able or I'm not, I'm not supposed to be here. You know, that's crazy to me because we all have to feed our family. We all have to hustle. We all got to pay bills. We all got to depend on ourselves to have a life. And to hear certain shit like that, that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's why I feel like we as black people have to rally up because I don't understand. I don't get it. I have no clue of why they don't like us like this. Like, I have, like, I'm so mind blown because I have never experienced racism. And that's crazy until now. All of my years of life until now. Until I went to Galen. That's that's when I was like, oh, oh, blacks, eh? Oh, okay. That's me. She's talking about me. Okay. But it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. So I would definitely say, make sure y'all are mentally prepared. I wouldn't say you stay to yourself, but you have your select group of people who you can. I'm talking about real dirty down dog trust. And I'm talking about trust with your whole life. Well, not even with your life because ain't nobody that trustworthy. But like when shit come, like say if you was to get in trouble, like they going to have your back. They're not going to flip on you and be like, yep, she did that. Like, they, they gonna really have your back or they gonna stand on what they believe in and not be two-faced it because you can say something to an, another uh, peer um, about a teacher and, I mean, it's just probably like, oh, I can't stand the way she... Like, not even something negative. It's just like her teaching style doesn't fit with me. 
they will go and twist up your whole words and be like, oh, she said you don't know how to teach and blah, 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 blah. And then here you are in the dean's office. So here you are getting reprimanded by the damn professor and you just don't even know what the fuck happened. The only, only thing you said was her teaching style doesn't fit with you. Like, it's just... Oh, and another thing. <laughs> Do not say nothing about no professor on social media. Like, duh. Because that is one way to get your ass in a hot seat on these professors like and when one professor say something that professor gonna tell the next professor and it's just it's just gonna go go on down the hill and then now your face is all over for some bad shit and now when you go to these professors classes they already got it out for you so just don't say nothing on instagram or facebook or whatever y'all be on talking about these professors because it's just crazy anyway but yeah so if if you are of color and you want to go into the nursing field i believe that you should definitely do so because it's not a lot of us that i'm seeing as black nurses and i feel like the 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 medical field needs more of us and they need more of us in high positions like doctors and nurses and pharmacists and x y and z surgeons we need more of us we really do because this is it's really sad like how they feel like we're not supposed to be there and i can't and i can't only speak on what i'm seeing when i'm out there i can't speak on nothing else this is just what i'm seeing what i'm seeing from school and what i'm seeing when i go to clinicals like, they really feel like we should not be there. And it's so sad. So, I say all that to say this. When you... I don't know if it's nursing school all over. So, I'm just going to specifically speak on what I'm where I'm going. So, when you go to Gagelin, be mentally prepared. Because you don't know what you're going to get into until you get into it. And you... I mean, you could drop out, but why? Just keep pushing. It's hard. I'm not even going to say it's, it's not hard. It's a lot of busy work. It's a lot of commitment. It's a lot of dedication. It's a lot of learning a new style of language. It's a lot of learning how to interpret a, a test that's written by a non-black person. It's a lot of commitment. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of deep diving. It's a lot of digging within and really pulling out your strength to get through it. And I promise you, if I can fucking do this, <laughs> anybody can. I promise you, anybody can. Like, I'm the laziest person in America, probably. But I'm doing it. And I'm so proud of myself. And I'm doing it with no help. I don't ask nobody for nothing. I might ask for a note or two. But majority of the time, I'm going to figure that shit out on my own. Use YouTube. Use the free tutoring that they have. Use all types of resources that you have. If you have a family member, reach out to them. If you have somebody who went to that school, reach out to them. Like... Anybody who's in the nursing field know what you done been through. They can either say yes or no that they can help. If they can't help, you dig within and you fucking pull it out of you and you figure it out on your own. I promise you, you can do it. It's not rocket science. So, again, if you're thinking about getting to the nursing field and you're going to Galen, just keep a clear head steer clear of the drama all that he said she said don't be clicky don't get into all those groups have a select group chat have a select friends like just be real particular about who you say what to be mindful of what you seen it about and carry yourself with grace because if you don't they look at you and they already put a title on you. Nope.
she's not gonna make it but be the person that make it and show them that you can actually do it no matter what you look like no matter what color your skin is no matter how kinky your hair is no matter what no matter how short long I don't care because they look at us and they judge us. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I want my hair in a ponytail like this today, y'all. Like this. Like this, okay? So y'all can see it. <laughs> and a bitch said, Oh, I know you had all that. Oh, I didn't know your hair was that long. <laughs> with grace y'all with grace like i almost wanted to say to her oh what you don't think black people have long hair <laughs> but you know what i say yes i do and i just kept going because i'm not gonna argue with you i'm not gonna let you make me as the villain i'm not gonna let you make me as the bully i'm not gonna let you get that up over me so i'm just going to be like yes and walk away i don't say nothing to nobody i say hello and i sit my ass down in my seat and take my notes because galen is a freaking high school i was gonna curse again but galen is a high school it's high school all over again high school it's nothing but females at this high school we probably have two men in the classroom three if you're lucky okay but it's just females so it's real catty so the least little thing you do stay under the radar just stay under the radar just keep your head high but stay under the radar and that is all so, a lot of people be like, I looked up Galen on YouTube and I ain't find nothing. Yet, I, I'm, I'm people. Because I ain't find nothing when I was looking for Galen. So, hopefully this video was helpful to someone trying to go to Galen. I don't know where you're trying to go to Galen at. But if you are in Florida, in my specific area, then yes, be mindful of the things that I just told you. I'm going to try to keep updating YouTube with Galen. It is very hard. I mean, I probably understand why a lot of people don't have nothing on Galen because Galen has a lot of busy work. Well, not busy work. We just have tests back to back and it's just too much to try to do videos and do Galen at the same time. So... Hopefully this video is helpful. I hope someone learned something about today's lesson, <laughs> which is just be nice. And, or if you don't have anything nice to say, just shut the fuck up. But yes, yeah, so that's my whole spiel on today. So again, my name is Celexis. I am a student nurse at Galen, but go ahead and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely share if you feel like this video was helpful. And I would love to see more of my black girls and my black guys in the nursing field in due time. And the time is now. So, let's go. So, if you think about it, think no more. This is where you need to be. This, this is your cue. Go ahead. <laughs> so, until then, guys, I will see you guys later. Much love. Keep studying and keep pushing. Love.